One of the best places to start with Amazon KDP is uploading no content books. And if you're looking for inspiration, you'll find tons of it right here. By the end of this video, you'll have plenty of ideas across four different no content categories. And at the end, I'm sharing one of my very favorite resources for creating no content book interiors with ease. Welcome to or back to passive income templates. My name is Laura and it's my goal to simplify your self publishing journey. So let's dive right in. Notebooks, journals, and diaries. This is where a lot of people start with their Amazon KDP journey. And it's important to understand that there are thousands upon thousands and thousands of notebooks that have been created that will realistically never sell because they're far too generic and it's just far too saturated. There's so many of them that have been uploaded. That being said, I do have no content books that sell. And if you want some pointers on finding profitable niches, I will link a video down below and above somewhere. And just remember that you are creating real books for real people and you want to deliver on what they actually need. So for example, let's go into wide ruled notebook. This is, you know, something that's more suited to younger students, perhaps. Let me see if I can find a good example of this. Um, you know, kindergarten to grade five, it's got a lot of space for them to write and, you know, start practicing their handwriting and, and get familiar with that, developing their fine motor skills and something more like a here we're looking at a college real paper which is much finer for older students and young adults um, both for school and work purposes so you also want to think about different kinds of journals for different kinds of people and professions and places and also sizes so here's a good example of that um, You know, people are going to be looking for different kinds of notebooks. Oh my goodness, all these pop-ups. Um, different kinds of notebooks. So there, you know, there are people who are going to be looking for teeny little pocket size journals and lined paper and people who want uh, more jumbo sizes. So a great keyword to plug into Amazon would be something kind of like pocket journal or pocket notebook and see what comes up in your research. Um, another thing to try is jumbo notebooks. I know I've seen uh, titles that are, you know, the largest possible size that you can create on Amazon KDP and they've got like 500 pages. So they're huge notebooks for you know, for whatever purpose, and they've got tons and tons and tons of pages. Let's close out of here. You could also think about things like um, blank recipe. Blank recipe notebooks. You know, this is something that's realistically very easy to create yourself. You know, it's just a few lined sections here with ingredients and um, instructions. You know, you can make it as complex or as simple as you like, depending on your design skills. There's also plenty of templates you can find online, I'm sure. And keep in mind that people are also looking for different kinds of patterns and prints on the front of their journals and notebooks and diaries. So there's plenty of opportunity to create something there. Um, like I said, keep in mind, these may not sell because there's just a huge volume of these kinds of products out there, but you know, you may stumble upon something that's quite profitable. Um, oh, also there's notebooks that you can do um, for kids that are lined I don't know if I have the right terms here, but like aligned, it's like a draw, yeah, like a draw and write um, kind of interior. So you can see here, you've got a 
pretty generous space up top, half of the page that's totally blank for drawing in a little picture, and a bottom portion that's for writing a little story or describing the picture or whatever it is. And what else can we think about here? Oh, you could also do some kind of lined, um, maybe a handwriting journal. Again, there's people of all ages who are going to be wanting to practice their handwriting. Maybe, uh, maybe they're looking at, you know, just getting familiar with holding a pen and pencil. They are very young kids. They could also be, where did that example go? They could also be people looking to practice their handwriting or their calligraphy or their cursive, something like that. So in this category alone, there's plenty of opportunity to create. When it comes to graph paper, there are tons of different kinds of grid sizes that you could upload to Amazon KDP for a bunch of different purposes. Some squares that are more tightly spaced together or really, really big grids, different kinds of bold, um, bold lines and patterns that could be used for many different kinds of activities or studies. Um, it might even be helpful to look for things like um, a graph paper for, oh, look at all these ideas that are coming up. Graph paper for floor plans, linear equations for kids, scatter plots, math for crochet patterns, smart board uh, notes, bar graph for print. Um, the one that I was thinking of was for math. So here's an interesting example here. There's some numbers along the middle here. Could be useful for students. Um, things like graph paper for chemistry. I think these ones that I've seen um, are more like this. They're kind of hexagonal. Yeah, you can see here somebody's using um, this kind of a notebook to fill in all of their chemistry information. And going back to what I saw over here, graph paper for crochet, if you go to graph paper for knitting, this is a really good example of niching down. Um, my mom was a knitter, so if I look at these, I know that the kind of paper that you'd need for knitting is not exactly square if you look at it. This should be a um, four to five ratio. You can see that these individual squares are actually more rectangular than they are square. And this is just helpful for planning out stitches and patterns and things like that. So um, here's an example that's a little bit more detailed. You can see the individual stitches there. Um, you know, this is really specific kind of graph paper that would be useful for knitters. Um, another example I can think of is um, graph paper. I've seen isometric graph paper. Um, I think this is kind of useful for, en yeah, for engineering I've seen. And that's another idea. Perhaps also graph paper for for languages. I don't know. Uh, let's see if this is even a thing. Um, what I was thinking of is more for you know filling in different kinds of characters for um, for learning different languages. So I'm thinking like. I don't know, for Japanese characters, something like that. Yeah, so here's kind of an example of that. It's not completely a traditional kind of grid, but you get the idea, right? It's just a little bit in a niche that serves somebody a little bit better than the average kind of graph paper. And what else can I point out? Oh, this I just stumbled upon this morning is French ruled paper. 
this is a lit it looks very similar to the composition notebooks but it's got um, more spaces in between so those are a bunch of ideas in the graph paper like the graph paper example there's also the potential to create tons of different kinds of dot grid interiors of different sizes so you know dots that are more closely together or further apart depending on different kinds of needs and this is a really great opportunity to create um, different kinds of interiors for all sorts of people um, dot grid notebook for you can see for school I could imagine a lot of students would find this kind of product very useful for designers something interesting that came up here where did I see that one I was just browsing a little bit I saw maybe a better example of this but something like this for a very specific purpose somebody who needs something very aligned um, I don't know if I can find the example that I saw before. Yeah, so this is kind of interesting for a, uh, I guess, some kind of an interior here they have for um, UI, UX design. And that's all very useful for this kind of specific purpose, I guess. I don't know. I'm not this kind of a designer. And of course, dot grid notebooks for um, bullet journals. Bullet journals and writing and planning. This is very, very, very useful for many different kinds of purposes, but you want to keep in mind one very important thing. You want to be mindful of using the actual phrase bullet journal when uploading your titles and subtitles and adding your keywords because I believe this is a phrase that is actually trademarked. So you want to use something more like dot grid or uh, even bujo I think is a little short form that a lot of these people use or uh, whatever dot graph, dotted notebook, just use some kind of an alternative term so that you don't get yourself into any kind of trouble in that area. And category number four I have here is sketchbook. So like we mentioned before, creating different kinds of products of different sizes. So somebody may be looking for a very big, extra large kind of sketchbook. Maybe they're looking for a teeny tiny little pocket sketchbook. There's all sorts of opportunity to create. Again, something to keep in mind is that Amazon doesn't like to see, I think it's more than three consecutive pages, I believe. So you can get around this by adding a border of some kind. Let's see if we can find one with a good example of this. I don't know if we'll be able to get a preview on Amazon. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's look inside here. So what you can do is just add some kind of a graphic element to your pages. So this person has gone ahead and added a very simple line so that it doesn't interrupt the rest of the page and there's still plenty of uh, space on the rest of the page for the user of this book to create their drawings and sketches and all that kinds of stuff. Like I said, it's helpful to upload these kinds of books to familiarize yourself with the process of uploading to Amazon KDP. And one of the most comprehensive resources that I found is a bundle from Bookbird. Um, they also have a couple other free resources that you can get, tons of templates in this gold library trial bundle, paper games bundle, but the one that I'm um, pointing out today is this beginner bundle. and Clicking on this will link you over to their Gumroad shop. And this is amazing because it gives you lined paper. I believe there's wide and kind of a regular lined in there. There's grid paper, dot grid, and I think there's also some plain sketchbook pages in there as well, which would be totally upload ready to KDP because they have some kind of a um, graphic element on there. And yeah, see, so you can see that they've got some little corner tabs on there, so it will be totally fine to upload. And 
yeah, this is just a really great resource that I have found. I'm so happy to pass it on to you if you find it useful. And there are tons of different sizes in here so that you can create um, products of all sorts of different sizes on Amazon KDP. So let me know if this content was valuable by giving me a thumbs up. If you feel inspired, let me know in the comments. If you've attempted to create any kinds of no content books, let me know if you've had any success in this area or if you've totally given up on creating no, can no content books. I hope that's not the case, but let me know either way. And I will be creating more videos in the future featuring low content niches. So subscribe if you would like to see that content in the future, along with more content on making passive income online. And with that, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.